Yo, yo, D thing, boy. What's poppin', man? This Cloud TV. How you doing today, brother? What's the word, bro? What's the word, bro, man? It's been a minute, bro. You know we had to catch back up with you. I told you we was gonna be hitting you. <laughs> What's goody? <laughs> yeah, man. You told me. You told me. All right, bro. Shit. Uh, we just had a couple questions we wanted to ask you, you know, just to catch up on some shit because the fans <laughs> been asking about you and shit. They wanted to know what's going down in Chicago. Uh, how you been since the last interview? Uh, I know we talked about a lot of stuff on that last interview. Uh, you make any new music, anything? What's new for you, man? Man, man, I'm, I'm right. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm right, man. I'm finna get it. I'm finna get it. I'm right. I'll be doing a little shit. I got a little shit. I'll be playing around with a little shit. A little, little shit, you know? Right. We, we be in the studio so much, shit. I just be like, fuck it. I just be playing around with that shit, though. But, yeah, by telling me, go on here, I can do it for real, for real. Right. Yeah, we know you can do it, bro. You very talented, bro. Uh, it's another question we wanted to ask you that we asked uh, Bally Fest. We asked your homeboy Bally Fest about this question. Uh, as far as No Limit Cairo and uh, G Herbo, bro, it was a lot of claims, like, you know, uh, G Herbo wasn't doing stuff for his hood and shit like that. Do you think it's a lot of backdoor, you know, going on in Chicago right now? Uh, yeah, man, Chicago, man, it seemed like everybody backed up, man. That's why you just got to, you know, that's it. That's that shit like that, what they going through, that's going on damn that in everybody's hood, man. It ain't just their hood. Right. That's going on everywhere. Right. You feel me, yeah, buddy. Yeah, that back door shit, though, that shit. I don't know, it's like it's a trend. Now. All these niggas want to follow a trend. Now, like, it's cool to be back door. Like, hell, nah, it ain't cool for that shit. Exactly, bro, exactly. And there's another thing going on. A lot of people always talk about the, the war in Chicago, bro. A lot of people always talk about that war. But we really got a big war that's going on right now nationally as far as Ukraine and Russia, man. Did you ever look into that Ukraine and Russia war, bro? How you feel about that war as far as uh, the Chicago war, not war? Man, that, that's, that's something that's been, that's supposed to been happening. Hey, that's something that's supposed to been happening. It's just right. you had the right people in for the president, like, but now you got Biden in for president, and then you got all these other people in for president, so it's like, bring Trump back, you feel me, like, bring, <laughs> right. need to bring you feel me? Right. Because okay, Biden man. ain't doing shit, he ain't doing shit for real, but getting us into some shit. Right. Yeah, Oh, uh, bro, you see the gas prices and shit, like, damn. You know what, D thing? It's a lot of stuff that that's been going on as far as state. They not not days. They just legalize. You don't have to have a, a gun permit to walk in the store and buy a handgun. Now anybody could just walk in there and show their ID and get a handgun. How do you feel about this, bro? What shit? Yeah, what shit? I, I, I could have been that. I wouldn't have never caught no gun case. Huh? That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> You, they just legalized it about two months ago uh, around the world. You don't have to have a, a pink card. You don't have to have a gun card to carry a, a handgun. Now all you need is an ID. Uh, yeah, I need to. I'm finna go and get up out of here. We finna pack our shit. <laughs> we finna get up out of here. Yeah, man. 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 Yeah, man this music shit, bro. We've been waiting a long time. I know you said you've been writing and shit, but I think that you a star, bro. I think the fans need to hear you drop some shit, you know. Even if it's a quick, you know, intro or something, you know. Just, you know, we've been waiting, bro. That's why we had to hit you up because we feel like, you know, last time we did that interview, that interview did some numbers, bro. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a star, man. I, I must start man. This just like right now. I'm on, I'm I'm really on my manager shit right now, so I'm really you know I'm getting Bali. I'm trying to get Bali Festa a, a feature with SG Batman. I'm trying to get Jersey Draco do do some more songs, some more solo songs. So I'm really on my manager shit right now, man. My um, oh, so you the, so, so you the manager my, for these guys now? 
Yeah, yeah, I've been. I told you I was already getting into my manager. I, I'm a co-manager. I got my um, my um, other manager in here with me, man. I'm a co-manager, man. Right. Shout so out to y'all. Shout out both of y'all. I see y'all know y'all thing, man. That's you know, that's funny you mentioned that, man, because you know, behind the scenes a lot of people be making a lot of money and people don't even realize that D thing. Yeah, man. So so that's 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 what we on, man. We just be getting some money and just shit stay to ourselves. We stay to our we same crowd, you don't be seeing us with no new niggas, you don't see us kicking it with niggas. Okay, bro, we got another question uh, for you. We've been hearing, uh, you know, Rico Reckless, he just got out of jail, he just did an interview with Live TV. He was talking about, uh, he was talking about basically a weapon in jail called a dookie gun. Have you ever heard of that type of weapon? He's talking about a weapon in jail called a dookie gun. <laughs> the, a dookie Glock, it, dookie Glock or they something call like that? It, they call it a Glock dookie, man. <laughs> okay, okay, man. Could you please explain what's going on with that, man? We had to ask you that. Man, uh, it's basically like, it's basically like, just shit, what it sounds like, basically. Man. It's like, motherfucker, just, just get a bottle or something and just put piss, shit, ketchup, mustard, hot sauce, any, just a whole bunch of shit and just mix it together. Uh, yeah, he, explained, he explained people putting switches on them or something like that. Yeah, I don't see now. I don't, I don't know about that. Like, I know switches is a real thing for the outside real. I don't know about in the inside, though. But when I was, when I was locked up, though, I saw a nigga... Throw, throw that shit in somebody's room. That shit got on them, got all up on them. But the nigga, they couldn't even get the nigga back because the nigga had, he was, he took his time already. So he was going to go to the joint. Right. He caught their ass and they were asleep. They was mad as hell. That shit was funny, though. Right. So for all the fans out there, D-Thing, we know you don't play no games. We know your ass, you know, rumble in the jungle type shit. Uh, for all the fans, bro, have you ever been to Cook County Jail, brother? Yeah, I've been twice. I, I'm a double felon, man. That ain't that ain't something I, I, I'm proud of, though. That ain't something you should be proud of, because if I could take that shit back, I would. Right. Okay. And for the fans, bro, you ain't got to answer this question if you, don't, you, if you don't want to, but your your experience going through that, you know, like, was you just a young, like, a young cat? Like, you know, like, what was going on with you? Like, what did you learn from that experience, basically? My first time, I was like, my first time, I was like 18. Right. Now, my first time, I was like 19. I was like 19. And I got caught for a, I got caught for a gun my first time. I, I was only in there for like a month, though, and then I got house arrest. But I was on house arrest for like a whole year and a half. Right. So, shit, that was one of the worst times because it was like, I'm on house arrest. I can't do shit. Can't go nowhere. I'm missing all type of shit, you know? can't make no money how I want to make money. So it's like, that was one of the worst times. And then my second time, I was just in, uh, for like eight months. I, I got out the end of 2019, like that October, 2019. I, I got caught for another gun. Shit. Right. That one, that one, like with that one, I'm, I knew like shit, what was up already. Like I knew what was up already. I knew I was going to like, when I got locked up, like I knew I was gonna sit down and do some time because I was on, I was still on papers for my first one. You feel me? So I knew I was gonna sit down and do some time and all that. Right, right. So, but my first time I ain't gonna sit here and say my first time. Everything was 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 cool and shit. I was a little scared, but I you can't show that shit on phone and you can't let nobody play with you in no type of way in that bitch. You gotta come in there already on some tough ass shit. You ain't got to be on no tough ass shit, but you got to come in there ready. Like, you got to have it in your mind already. Right. Like, right. I'm finna get down with somebody. Anybody who play with me, anything, I'm finna get down. We finna fight. Exactly, bro. Exactly, but you know, bro. that ain't that ain't, that ain't ain't some shit. I wouldn't even wish that on my worst enemy. Like, that ain't some shit a motherfucker want to go through. That shit, that shit really, like, a mental thing. Like, you can't let that shit fuck with your head. If they let that shit fuck with your head, then you let them people win. Right, bro. 
Yeah, man, I just had to ask you that, man, because, you know, it's a lot of, you know, famous people that visit that place and, you know, they blew up, never went back, you know, so, you, you know, man, like, we we just catching up with you, D-Thing, man, what else new, bro? What else new you got popping for us, man? Um, well, I got some new artists, I got a new artist that I'm working his name Panda. He just dropped a song yesterday called Perks, Pints, and Pounds. He, we call it PPP. He just dropped a song. Man, I got another artist. Shout That'd out Panda, him. man. Perks, Pints, and Pounds, man. That shit sound Perks, good. The Perks, Pints, and Pounds. That's how we live our life. You know that? You can catch me. It's a video. It's on YouTube. You can catch me in the video. You can catch us in the video. Okay. And, uh, okay. And I'm going to for sure check that out, man, right when we get done, brother. Yeah, man, you know, Bali Fest, and then I got my other artist, his name, A A A Jizzle Get Wicked, he, he, he just dropped him, and Bali just dropped the song. You know, what, man. You sound like you sound like a cool manager, man. Like you sound like the manager that everybody dreamed of. Damn near, <laughs> like you know, you ain't holding nothing over the heads. You letting the artists be what they gonna be, and uh, you know, I, we appreciate that, man. I'm glad to see that you even taking the role like that, because nowadays everybody want to hold the gun. Everybody want to be, you know, the the bully. Everybody want to go nuts out here, live like Larry. But you, you took the real route like Lil Bibby took as far as, you know. And that management shit, you get royalties, man. You get a percentage out of everything. So. Uh-huh. But like, shit, like all that shit, we didn't, we didn't did that shit already. Like, now we just want some money. But we, at the end of the day, we still don't let nobody play with us. And we still don't play with nobody. We still stand on our business. But we just, we want some money. Shit, all that hot shit, that shit ain't. That shit, we've been there, done that. Fuck that shit. Right. Right. Okay, okay. Man, as far as, you know, uh, a lot of people been talking about this one video game, bro. And uh, I don't know if you ever heard of it when you was a kid or not, but it was called uh, Dev Jam, Fight for New York. A lot of people yeah. is going on. Yeah, the I know Okay, a lot of people going on a petition about that game because, you know, it was made in Chicago, you know, it was EA Chicago, it was made in Chicago, so a lot of people going on a petition trying to get that game uh, back on the market. There was a couple people got their head buzzed downtown in Chicago over a petition about that game last week. Uh, how do you feel about that game? Have you ever heard of it? Did you ever grow up on it? Like... Uh, yeah, I, I heard of it. I played it. It was, it was angle that that shit did used to be fun, but like nowadays, I wouldn't even really know how I feel about that because it's like I be so busy. Like we be so busy, like we don't really got a time to be playing games like that. Right. Well, the point is that uh, they was petitioning to get it back on the market downtown in Chicago uh, last week, and a couple heads got busted down there over that video game. How do you feel about that? Is it that serious? Uh, was people? Yeah, just going... it ain't never. It ain't never that serious, man. Yeah, it ain't never that serious, man. Like, oh, not over no game because at the end of the day, it's a game. You feel me? Right. Okay. All right. D thing, man. Shit, we gonna be waiting on you to drop, bro. You know, I had to check in with you, Brody. Yeah, I'm bro, man. Oh, bro! Shout out Cloud TV, man. I've been, I've been seeing you and shit, man. Doing, doing the interviews. You already I've know, been, bro. I've been seeing you talk about the Cairo shit too, man. Yes, sir, man. You already know, bro. We gotta keep it lit on uh, Cloud TV. We drop every day, bro. You know, we appreciate you even giving us the time to talk to you. These things. We know you busy a lot, and uh, shit. You know, we gonna catch back up on you with some shit, bro. Next time, hopefully, we be we'll be talking about your new single that drop. Yeah, uh, if you if you can, you can interview um my artist Panda. If you can, he just dropped his song yesterday. He had, he had one K right now for his first song. He had one K right now in a day. So you know, I'm trying to get him get him out there more. All right, bet, bro. Just send me his information when we get done, bro. You already know, you know, uh, Cloud TV. We would love to bring him down on the platform, bro. I bet.
All right, bro. And before you get out this thing, could you shout out Cloud TV one more time for us, brother? Hey, shout out Cloud TV, man. That's from Big GD thing, man. Shout out Cloud TV, man. This, hey, my boy going to get you right, man. Hey. Y'all turn his page up, do all that, man. It's a real cool dude, man. Hey, bro, appreciate that, d thing, man. You be good out there, bro. We going to be hitting you up in another week, bro. Send me paying the info, bro. We going to tune, bro, up. All right, man. I'm going to send it to you. All right, man, bro. It's Call TV, and we out of this thing. Gang. All right.